Well, good morning and welcome to the channel. Today I'm in the Duntisbornes, a beautiful collection of villages and hamlets, all very close together near Sirencester. They get their name Duntisborne from the Dunt, the little river or stream that runs through the moor. Two have got classic medieval churches and they all have beautiful traditional Cotswold stone buildings. I'm in the main village, Dunstan's, Duntisbourne Abbot, which is where we're going to start our walk. And we're going to go and visit the main village and then the three hamlets. That's the church up there. As you can see, an absolutely wonderful, picturesque little Cotswold village. The sun is shining, it's a bit of a cloudy day, but it's not too bad. So let's go and explore Duntisbourne Abbot. Bluebells. Beautiful, look at that. What a lovely house that is and garden. The blossom out on the apple tree. A beautiful little stream. That's the actual dunt. So it's not really a river. It's a stream. I got that wrong. Yes. Apologies, just got my screen slightly out of centre there. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Typical Cotswold cottage there. And the topiary. Look at that. Absolutely stunning.
We're right in the centre of Duntisborn Abbot. This is the church, I think it's St Peter. If I'm wrong, I'll put the right name in the description below. But I'm recording this live, so obviously just hoping I've got it right. What a beautiful entrance, look at that. I'll put the age of the church as well. I think it's Saxon, I'll definitely let you know. And look at all these lovely trees either side, reminds me of Painswick. If you look at my video of Painswick, yew trees, so often found in villages, Cotswold churches. Yeah, and here's one, a row of ones here. Look at this church. Lovely entrance. And this is at the heart of the village, really. All the gravestones. Absolutely beautiful.
Okay, well we're back at the car now, at the start of the village. So we're going to go on to the next one, Duntisbourne, which is a hamlet. I think it's called Duntisbourne Meat, but I'll put a description below because again I can't quite remember the name of it. But yeah, it's just about half a mile away. So I hope you enjoyed Duntisbourne Abbot, or Abbots, and I will see you at the next little village. See you in a moment. So we're in the next village and it's Duntersbourne Lear. Sorry, I said meat, I think, but it's Duntersbourne Lear. So uh, here we are. And um, yeah. Let's go and have a wander. There's a ford down here, so I'm not sure if we can get across or not. But let's go and take a look. Beautiful Cotswold Cottage there. And this is the Lear, the river that runs through the Duntisbournes. I'm just going to let this car come out. So this is the lovely village, the river flowing through. I'm just going to go along and have a look at this village. Lovely house. Friendly dog, come to say hello. It's just a lovely little hamlet, isn't it? Hello, hello, hello doggy, hello dog. This is the river. Dunt just here. <laughs> Car just trying to turn around, which is quite difficult. So yeah, this is the River Dunt. Now the car's moved out of the way. I'm showing you again. The lady here just said it uh, never freezes, never floods, but it has to be kept clear. Otherwise, you do get a bit of. Um, you get a few problems, but yeah, absolutely stunning. And it disappears over between the houses. Not sure where it goes from here, but I think we're going to find it in another village. But yes, look at this though, isn't it beautiful? Just exquisite Cotswold villages, wherever you look. The houses, sorry. Wherever you look. Absolutely beautiful. I just love it. Look at that house there. Lovely classic car there. Look at that. Volvo, I think. Classic Volvo.
no church in this one. It's a Friday afternoon, 26th of April, and uh, yeah, it's very quiet. Just the way I like it. Oh, there's some spring bulbs here. Let's see if we can get a picture of these. There we go. If you know what they are, put a comment. I would say some tulips, but I wouldn't know for sure. And these look like vines, or they look like vines? Not sure. But it's absolutely beautiful. I love this little village. I like it more than Duntiston, Duntiston, Duntisbourne Abbot. I can't say the word, but look at that. Just everywhere you go, it's the same, isn't it? Beautiful, unspoiled villages. Here we have a couple of planes from Fairford in flying in formation. I don't know if you can see those on the camera. Hopefully you can. You can hear them at least. As always, I'm running low on battery, so I better uh, leave this village, <coughs> excuse me, and find the next one. Look at that. I'd love to just get those flowers one more time. There we go. That's the end of our little tour. Dunson Mall. Duntis Ball. Meet. Let's go to the next village. So this is middle Duntis Bourne, the third of the Duntis Bournes. And we're not going to film very much because there's not a lot to see here. It's just a few houses. Again, beautiful farm buildings. But of course there is the River Dunt, or the Dunt Stream, which we're just going to quickly show you, which was flowing through the other villages. And yeah, let's just quickly go and have a look at Middle Duntisbourne. Quite a fast flowing stream. bridge there look. We'll just cross over the bridge.
So this is Duntinsbourne Rouse, Duntinsbourne Rouse. Very hard to find. Couldn't actually find it from OS. Um, but I found the church and now I know where the village is. Um, so we're going to go and have a look at this Saxon church. It's supposed to be very splendid. And look at this little gateway through to it. Isn't that lovely? So I'll see you at the church. See you in a moment. Okay, so this is Dunting, Duntisbourne Rouse Church. And what a lovely church it is. And it's got in a lovely picturesque setting in a little wooden valley, wooded valley. Let's go and have a look. I believe it's the Church of St. Michael. But as always, I'll put it in on the bottom of the screen there so you can see the actual name of the church. But I think it's St. Michael's. It's actually started to rain, so I need to be a bit careful because my camera doesn't have any uh, waterproofing. Here's a little dog come to say hello. Hello, hello. So here we are. This is the church, absolutely stunning. Just set a little hill, and the village is just behind it, but it's just a hamlet really. There's not a lot to film, but I will go and have a quick look, battery permitting, but I really wanted to see the church. just the surrounding area really so let's go and look inside the church I was correct St Michael's Duntisbourne Rouse for a thousand years the little church has given comfort to generation of generation there are today only 30 parishioners nearly half of whom are children or old age pensioners please give generously we will.
I hope you enjoyed that little visit inside the Saxon church. It's absolutely tiny, but it's beautiful. And um, I just hope they can keep it going. But what an absolutely treasure this is. I mean, look at this setting. I mean, it's just so peaceful and tranquil. What a lovely place to just be at the end of your time in this sweet little churchyard. Absolutely beautiful. So I've now actually found the hamlet of Duntisbourne Rouse. It's tucked away. You'd never know it was here. There's no signs to say you're in here, but it's here. It's just below the church. The church is above it, and the description says it overlooks the tiny little hamlet. And I'm just going to show you a little bit of this village, because once again, it's just absolutely picture perfect. And yes, it also has the River Dunt running through it, or it's not really a river, it's a stream. Um, but I'm just going to have a little paddle around here. And we've seen this river throughout our trip, and it's uh, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that house there with the wisteria about to come into blossom. Absolutely beautiful. A little Cotswold gem hidden away. There's a bit of a barky dog, doesn't like me. Oh, here he is. But I'm just going to ignore him. Hello, boy. There he is. I think he's quite friendly, but and there's the stream again. Absolutely idyllic. So we're at the end really of our tour of the Duntis Bournes. It's a tricky one to say. And yes, I got the villages wrong. But it'll all be on the on the screen telling you which is which. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please, if you're not a subscriber, think about subscribing, it's free. It helps the channel and uh, yeah I'd much appreciate it if you could click that the like button the share button and most of all subscribe and then you'll never miss another video and I'm gonna be making a lot of videos now I'm back on my feet and I'm uh, obviously it's much better weather so I'll leave you with this last shot of the Ford at Duntisbourne Rouse I got it right and I'll see you for another video very soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.